Hey there, welcome back to Social Work Scrapbook. If you're watching today, you're interested in learning more about the other social workers in our Social Work Scrapbook community, this is one of my favorite things to do. Ask them what are their top three self-care strategies, why did they choose the field of social work, fun stuff like what they're reading and listening to, and of course, I wanna hear those success stories. So here is Justin to answer these questions and more. I hope you enjoy. Hey Lauren, thank you so much for having me on this channel. I really do appreciate this opportunity. Um, my name is Justin Gillespie. I am a social worker in the state of Michigan. I have a vast variety of experience between addiction treatment as well as working with families and youth. And I love the fact that I just get to come on this channel and explain my current role, my past roles, and just why I love social work so much. I have been a social worker for a couple years now. I have done it since 2016, in which I immediately started as a case manager for a substance abuse agency. From there, I graduated with my MSW in 2017. I ended up working as a clinical case manager for a juvenile justice center. And I didn't necessarily enjoy the work. I loved working with the kids, but as far as like the work in the administration itself, it just wasn't for me. But as far as the work of a clinical case manager specifically, I fell in love with it because it was like the best of both worlds between therapy as well as case management. And so I became a clinical case manager slash medical social worker at my current role. Um, my agency is named Work at Health and we are a telemedicine, telehealth treatment outpatient clinic. Uh, that treats opiate use disorder as well as other addictions. So it's been such a fun run and I absolutely love working here. It's so much fun. And this, um, I thought about it through the Rolodex in my head. The craziest thing, not to give too much information, was when I had to pick a client up from the hospital um, for his first day of treatment and I found out in the car that he had a very extensive uh, criminal record. Um, a violent criminal record and so that made me a little anxious because I was just starting out in the field but he actually ended up being one of the greatest clients I've ever had they were very sweet and they were awesome it really taught me not to judge a book by its cover for sure why did I choose social work and that is kind of a long answered question because I kind of ended up in this field on accident. I actually wanted to go be a lawyer at one point. So I, my theory was if I go get a degree in social work, I can go work for CPS because that's literally all I knew about social work was CPS. It's that stigma we're trying to break now, but that's all I personally knew about it. So it was kind of cool to get that experience um, after I graduated. I was more so picking up the pieces after the fact and helping a lot of parents get back on their feet as well as processing past trauma with some of these children. So that I got to see things on both sides of the fence and it really actually made me a more well-rounded social worker. I do a few interventions in my current role as a telehealth counselor. A lot of the times I'm doing a lot of cognitive reframing as well as validating feelings. And when I'm on the phone or video with my clients, I'm also doing a lot of CBT with them. One of the uh, acronyms that I actually came up with when it comes to, you know, what do I say to this client? You know, especially when you're texting them, there's a real skill that you're doing, just like you're, if you were talking to them in person. It's called RAVER, R-A-V-E-R. -E it means rephrase, assess, validate evaluate and then respond so you really want to repeat some of the things that they're saying in your own words you want to assess to see if there's any needs that they're looking for whether it's directly or indirectly you then want to validate some of the feelings that they're having and then just overall evaluate the situation in your message did i cover everything that i need to i had this client who i had he sent me this really long email and it was just basically like, you helped me so much. And I know I didn't show appreciation to you when, you know, we were together, but you were just someone who treated me with a lot of respect and helped me with things I was struggling with growing up. And that was probably just one of the coolest things I've ever read. Oh, he also said that um, he was getting his GED now and he started working full time. So I just thought that was a really cool thing to get to remember the work that I'm doing. If you weren't a social worker, what would you be? I am a big pro wrestling fan, so I would love to work for World Wrestling Entertainment, aka WWE. It's just something I've grown up with. I love it. 
And so that would be something I'd love to do as, like, an off-the-wall career choice. And I heard that they actually are starting to hire on-the-road therapists because they go all over the world and all over the country. And they're performers because it's wrestling. They get injured. There's, a, there's actually a lot of substance abuse that goes along with that, as well as grief and loss and all types of stuff while they're on the road. They want counselors that go on the road with them. So maybe one day I'll get to do that. That's, like, an off-the-wall thing. But one of the things I do want to share is my Instagram. I share a lot of fitness stuff on there. That's actually something I do for self-care. Jen underscore Travis underscore so if you'd like to follow me on there for anything related to fitness and mental health I would love to see you on there it would be awesome to see a lot of followers on there that are all about the movement like I am I love using fitness even in counseling I think it's a really great um, intervention that is evidence based that a lot of people don't utilize when you exercise you actually build a lot of endorphins in you and you build a lot of things like dopamine serotonin naturally that you've lost over the course of substance use and as a result you end up feeling feelings of happiness and contentness. I love going to see pro wrestling and MMA fights, whether it is a professional fight, whether it is a local indie fight. When I was younger, I didn't really like a lot of team sports. I always loved seeing stuff that was like more individual based. So MMA and wrestling, that's something I've always loved. Um, I attend a support group for my mental health. I do that on average about once a week. I think it's very important for my self care just to keep myself checked in. Just because I'm a therapist, it doesn't mean I couldn't just slip back into some of those habits or some of those unhelpful thought patterns that I used to have very frequently. And I still have them admittedly, but it's helpful to go to a support group to help just check them at the door and realize, you know what, thoughts are not reality, feelings are not necessarily reality. What are you currently reading right now? I'm currently specifically reading about a lot of mental health diagnoses, actually. Um, I'm learning a lot about ADHD for the things I'm writing. I'm also learning about binge eating disorder, which is the thing that I'm mainly in recovery from. Um, and just quite a few different mental health diagnoses that go along with it. I am currently listening to <laughs> a lot of things. Um, my Spotify and my playlists are full of everything from like top 40 hits, a lot of rock and roll bands. I listen to a lot of pro wrestling WWE theme songs, especially when I work out. And also on my way to work, I also listen to Social Work Scrapbook. Now, I don't watch your videos on my way to work driving because that's dangerous, but I plug it into the car and I actually just kind of sitting on my seat and whenever you upload a new video, whether it's on my lunch or on my way to work or something, I will get caught up on some of the things you're talking about. And I absolutely love your content. But we have the this or that section now. Workout or nap? Definitely workout. I have too much energy and too much ADHD to even nap, so I would much rather work out, and I absolutely love working out. iPhone or Android? Android. Any day. Any day. City or country? I'm very extroverted, so I would definitely say I'm more into the city life. Winter or summer? Definitely summer. I am not a winter person at all, which is really weird because I've lived in Michigan my whole life. Amusement park or shopping mall? I have to go with shopping mall for this one because I am very much afraid of heights and I'm not a roller coaster person at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and awesome. Thank you for having me on here. Bye guys.